Hello friends, today we will understand recursive store procedure and it's through the viewer request. So hopefully this will help. So first we will understand what is recursive store procedure. It is a store procedure which call itself until it reaches some boundary condition. This recursive store procedure helps the programmer to use the same set of code n number of times. So let's begin. So we will understand recursive store procedure by some use cases. Go to your management studio here consider a scenario where we have to write a recursive store procedure for getting a list of persons whose age is less than 30. So for this purpose we will use our previously created persons table. Now let's go to the store procedure right click click a new store procedure. So here let's say person details store procedure underscore person details and here we will pass age as a input parameter integer and then Here we will declare some variable, let's say name, marker 20 and now here we will put our condition. So if age is less than 30 then begin select And now we will print to understand better. We will print some statement, let's say name and we will set our age variable. We, we will increment our age variable. And we will call our procedure now we will end this statement and then we'll put one more statement which says age is equal equals to 31 then again begin and same query and before query we have to set age variable we have to decrement this time our age variable so that it will close and now then we'll print statement says that person older than 30 years and name of the person and then we will end this now we'll save this okay some error incorrect syntax equals to okay sorry this one okay now again we'll save this yeah it is saved successfully now we will try to execute our scenario so we'll execute our store procedure 
and we will put age as 20. Now execute this. And here we can see that name Kamlesh, Kapil, Amit, Roma and Umesh came. So we will verify. Yes, so Amit, Roma, Umesh, Kamlesh, Kapil all came here. So I hope you got the point and I hope you understand how to use recursive store procedure. And if you have any doubt, comment and query, so then please do let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.